All right, we are looking at more inverse trig ratios, practice, classwork. Okay, if we see sine of B equals 0.4848, I'm literally going to go into my calculator page. I'm hitting the trig button. I'm going down to sine of negative 1, and I put 0 0.4848 push enter, I get 28.999. Let's see if this will show. Because it says sine B equals that number. So in order to find it, I have to do inverse sine of 0 0.4848 will equal B. And I'm just going to round up. I'm going to say it's 29 degrees. So I'm using that inverse button, that negative one. Okay, let's try number two. So what am I going to choose for 22? How am I going to find out what A is? What do I put in there? Yep, cosine of negative one. 0.7431, push enter, and what do I get? 42 degrees. How are we doing? Straightforward? Let's just try number four and then we'll move on. So I'm going to go, if I want to find out what W is, what do I put in my calculator? Tan of negative one because I'm looking for the angle. And I'm going to put in 19.0811 and I get what? What do you get, guys, when you put inverse tan of 19.0811 87. 87 degrees pretty straightforward okay number five I'm, we did we skipped it because I already did a cosine one so I felt good number five I'm looking for that angle right there what is 27 uh, yep yeah, and what's 38 so which trig function am I going to use? Tan. And I'm looking for an angle, so it's tan of negative 1. Opposite 27 over adjacent 38. So I hit my trig button. Tan of negative 1. 25 divided by 38 gives me... Oop. Make sure you use inverse tan, because I just did tan by accident and gave me a decimal. I get 35.4, so I'll just say 35 degrees. Because it says right here to round to the nearest degree. Yeah, it says right there, round to the nearest degree. So yes, you do. Yes. If the directions say round to the nearest degree and you don't do it, you will not get full credit. Number seven. We're looking for 10 is the... Opposite 39 is the? So which trig function am I going to use? Sine. And I'm going to use sine or inverse sine? Inverse sine because I'm looking for the angle. 10 over 39. So I'm going to hit trig, inverse sine. Ten divided by thirty-nine, and I get fifteen degrees. Okay, let's look at number nine. Six is the what to my angle? Eight is the. So which trig function do I use? Cosine negative one equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Trig function, cosine negative 1, 6 divided by 8, and I get 41 degrees. Let's do this last one. Here's my angle. I have three sides, so I'm just going to pick two out of the three to use. Which ones do you want to use? Adjacent, so we're going to use 7, and hypotenuse. We'll use 25. So that means we're going to use which trig function, sine, cosine, or tangent? 
cosine. Cosine of negative 1 equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Trig function, cosine negative 1, 7 divided by 25 gives us 74 degrees. That's all I'm going to do for this page. You do not have to complete the classwork, but the homework on the back is due tomorrow. So it's almost exactly the same. I know I didn't go over all of them, but your back is very similar. We're going to move on to our word problems. Make sure you're on the classwork side before you get started. We're going to find to the nearest degree the angle that the sun ray makes with the ground. When a flagpole 40 feet high casts a shadow 30 feet long. So we want to know the degree that it makes with the ground. So we were looking for this degree right here. We know the flagpole is 40 feet high and we know the shadow is 30 feet long. Shadows go on the ground. So 40 is the opposite adjacent or hypotenuse. 30 is the so which trig function am I using? Tan. Tan and negative 1 equals opposite 40 over adjacent 30. Trig function, tan and negative 1, 40 divided by 30. We get 53 degrees. Questions about that so far? Okay. I want you guys to try to set up the picture for this one. I'm going to zoom out just slightly. Okay. The top of a 40-foot ladder, which is leaning against the wall, reaches the wall at a point of 36 feet from the ground. Find to the nearest degree the angle the ladder makes with the wall. Remember, you should always have a right triangle. What side is the 40-foot ladder? What side? I'm just asking you right now. Try to do it on your own. It says, leans against a wall and reaches the wall at 36 feet from the ground. Then it's asking the nearest degree the angle the ladder makes with the wall. Spend a second, draw that out. Okay, where does my 40 go? Hypotenuse. Ladders lean against the wall. Where does 36 go? Does it go straight up and down or along the ground? 36 on the wall, straight up and down. A, against a wall reaches the wall at a point 36 feet from the ground. Find to the nearest degree the angle that the ladder makes with the wall. Is that on the bottom or the top? The ladder makes with the wall. Is that on the bottom or the top? The top, the ladder and the wall. This is my adjacent. This is my hypotenuse. So I'm going to use cosine of negative 1, adjacent over hypotenuse. Put my calculator trig button, cosine negative 1. 36 divided by 40, I get 26 degrees. Okay, number three. An isosceles triangle has the lengths 5, 5, 6. Find the measure to the nearest degree of each angle of the triangle. Hint, draw the altitude. What's an altitude? the height of the triangle, which would be right here. Okay, if I draw this triangle in half, I know I have a 90 degree triangle. This bottom part is no longer six, each side is three, right? And then we can figure out this angle and then figure out this angle. So let's figure out, we'll call this one X right here. This is my hypotenuse, this is my adjacent, so I'm gonna use cosine, negative one, adjacent over hypotenuse. and I get 53 degrees. We're gonna call this up here Y. So this is no longer adjacent, this is the what to Y. Three is what to Y? 
opposite because it's now across from it. So we're going to use sine of negative 1 equals opposite 3 over hypotenuse 5. And I get 37 degrees. But 37 degrees is only half. How am I going to find the whole thing? You got to times it by 2. So I get 74 degrees. Because when I drew that altitude in right here, it only gave me half of what I'm finding, and I want the whole angle. So if I were to redraw my Oscillus triangle, this is 5, this is 5, this is 6. This is going to be 53, 53, and 74. Does that make sense? You've got three word problems like that. So your homework is the back of the classwork for this and back of the classwork for more inverse. You have those two things that are due tomorrow at the beginning of the hour.